Hey there, welcome to My Green Pets. I'm William Green. Let's have a look at Cygnotus Coopery really getting close to blooming out. 22 flowers. You can see the top ones have already started to pop. I noticed the surface of the flowers looked a little weird, like a little kind of you know, runk, wrinkly, and I thought, oh no, you gotta be kidding me, and I started inspecting stems more closely, and wouldn't you know it, I have found spider mites. So then I started looking, and look at this leaf. That is the tail, wait, the telltale sign of spider mites is that stippling effect on the leaves. It's this Cloesia, this Rebecca Northern, that they, they love this one, but then of course they're starting to spread to other things too. So, um, good thing I am checking things out closely every day because you gotta catch these things early. Anyway, I, um, I'm using the misting system uh, as a first line, as a first response. I'm using the misting system to raise the uh, humidity in the tent to much higher levels. So typically it's around 50, 60%. Uh, I've got the mister coming on now six times a day for 30 seconds just to keep the humidity above 70. So that's step one, raise humidity. Um, Maybe that was step two, because step one was I took plants that I, well, I took these two plants um, because they're almost, you know, they're, they're, they're spiking, they're budding, they're the most vulnerable in terms of the damage that the spider mites could do, in my opinion, because I don't want the flowers ruined. So I took them to the shower and gave them a good showering and tried to knock off as many as I could. And I'll probably do that every day now until they're done blooming, or at least probably once this opens, I won't be able to do it because when the water hits the little columns, it'll knock the pollen off of them. But anyway, so that's the first, that's what we're working on now. And I ordered, uh, step three was I ordered um, a mite predator from Arbico Organics, and I got the one that is the most voracious mite predator, but it requires high humidity. It will not live in, it will not live, grow, lay eggs, and have a life cycle in less than 70% humidity, according to their website. So that's another reason I'm testing the misting system uh, with its ability to keep the humidity up because I want to have a very humid environment for those mites when they arrive so that they can destroy the spider mite population. That's the goal. So that's happening. I, I worry a little bit about the pinguicula because with the misting system, their leaves kind of stay wet and they don't really like that. So we'll just have to be really careful and keep an eye on them. I'm hoping this won't be a permanent arrangement. This will be like a maybe a two to three week arrangement until the spider mite population is under control. But we'll see. Always fun with the orchid collection. Mastavalia Machu Picchu has opened up. It's giving us another gorgeous flower. And I took this to school yesterday, showed my seventh and eighth graders and some of the other teachers and stuff. And I said that it was from Peru, but I guess the way that I worded it, they were like, how did you get it back in the United States? And I was like, oh, no, I bought this from California. But it, if you want to see them in the wild, you go to Peru. Oh, okay. So it's a California orchid, not a Peruvian orchid. And I was like, okay, whatever. But the kids are like, are we going to get a lizard? <laughs> so a few of them might like the plants, but anyway. They don't need a lizard. They need something calming. Even during the course of the, the school day, you know, because this thing has got such a long stalk, if there's any movement in the building at all, it's it, it moves a little bit. And the kids are like, the plant's moving, the plant's moving. Dar darling little, little things, they are. 
So, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Well, let's go over here and look at Fire Embers. It's got two beautiful spikes developing at exactly the same time. Really hopeful to see this plant in the Denver show in a few weeks. We'll see if the spider mites don't get it first. I'm going to do my best not to let them. We're spraying this thing every single day with water to knock them off. So it'll be exciting when Kupri is all bloomed out. Hopefully it won't be too badly affected. Hopefully I got in, got to it in time. I've had to raise it up again because it just keeps, the spike just keeps stretching lower and lower. I mean, look, look at that little plant, what that thing put out. It's insane. Oh, let's look really quick over, over here. We've got another Signature's Coopery and Spike. And then my Bronze Vixen as well is working on a spike just now starting to push out. So we got four spikes in the Signature's world so far. Um, Varsovicii still getting taller and taller and taller. Hoping for a really spectacular spike on that this winter as well. Okay, wish me luck with the spider mites. That's our quick update for this week. Have a great week yourself. Great Labor Day weekend next weekend in the U.S. And we'll see you next time right here on My Green Pets. I'm William Green. See ya.